Hey everybody, welcome to a new rain vlog. I'm sorry for not releasing a rain vlog last week. It was too crazy and even though I did want to vlog last week, my mental health wasn't the greatest, but I did spend time with my family, which kind of helped a bit and yeah, sorry for not vlogging, but I'm going to be telling you what I'm currently reading at the moment, which is Nevermore by Jessica Townsend. And it's a very popular Mulgrave series, and I thought I would pick this up since in the summer I kind of been uh, rain up a little bit, so I thought this might help me. And I'm planning on starting a new audiobook, but I'm not going to start until Saturday, which is New Year's Day for Sadie. I thought it would be a good audiobook to listen to just because I've been an uh, audiobook slump, if that's what you want to call it. But I thought I would show you guys some of the Christmas presents that I got. I'll show you some of the books that I got for um, Christmas. The first few are some, like the Christie books. The first one, one, one of the one, first ones that I got is Caribbean Mystery, which is a Miss Marple uh, Mysteries, which I have not read before, but I thought it would be a good start. And the next one that I got is Halloween Party, which is another Hercule Poirot mystery. And then I got Midwinter Murder by, by Agatha Christie, which is one of her standalone mysteries. And the uh, last Agatha Christie book that I got for Christmas is a um, is not a regular book that I wanted, but I want to keep it because it's cool as a graphic novel, which is The Murder uh, at the Vicarage. I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. So, yeah, so it's a graphic novel, so I thought I would keep it and buy the regular book version later. And I'm hoping to get Murray on the Art Express and Death on the Nile since I read those two. So I thought it would be cool to read um, uh, like the Christie. I did not know this existed until my soon-to-be mother-in-law, Kevin's mom, got me this. So I definitely want to keep this and get the regular version later. And then the next... One that I got is Starside Bright, Brandon Sanderson, which is the second book in the, what is it called, Skyward? Yeah, Skyward series, and and is a, another sci-fi, a popular sci-fi series. I read the first book, and I do hope to continue on with series since I enjoyed the first book so much. So I got this for Christmas. <laughs> and then the last book that I got is Reaper of the Souls by Rena Barron, which is a sequel to, um, what is it called? Uh, I know it's the second book of the Miller series, but I forgot what it's called. So, yeah, I know it's the second book in the, what's the first book called? I know it's probably in here. Kingdom of Souls, that's it. So, yeah, I'm excited to pick this up because I enjoyed the first book so much. And another book that I got, which is a book that I bought recently, which is um, uh, Lost in the Neverwoods by Aiden Thomas, which is a retelling of Peter Pan, which I'm excited about. So yeah, my camera is flashing at me, and um, uh, that's pretty much it for the update. And I'll show you more of my Christmas presents later, and I'll catch you guys later. Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. I read a little bit of Nevermore last night and a little bit of today. I got to page 65, so I'm not that far into it. I am really enjoying it. I'm really liking the story so far. I really like Morgan as a character and I'm liking the world so far and yeah I don't have a lot of thought other than I'm liking it so far. And yesterday I actually forgot to show you another book that I got for Christmas and it's the one that I already read but now um which is The Invisible Life of Eddie LaRue, Eddie LaRue by Faye Schwab, one of my favorite books of the year and I'm just so happy that I have my own copy and I can't wait to read more books by her because even though like with A Darker Shade of Magic I I was kind of liking it but I also wasn't so sure and I've read her other works and I was liking it so I'm still going to continue on with The Darker Shade of Magic. I think I'm just going to reread it because I didn't like the audiobook for some reason. So yeah um yeah I got off work like a few hours ago but I'm going to Work on more of Nevermore tonight before I go to sleep, but and also in my Ticket to Read video, which is already up by the 
time this vlog goes up. And since I have tomorrow off, my plan for tomorrow is to do some Wayne's stuff, do some filming, and also do some reading. And and I want to talk about a little bit for the plan for next year. This uh, 2021 has kind of not been a good year for me just because my mental health hasn't been the greatest. So my goal for 2022 is to try to focus on myself. So like for vlogging, for example, if I don't feel like releasing a vlog when I try to vlog, I'm not going to push myself to vlog just because it's not good for me to try to push myself if I don't feel like vlogging. And also, my goal for next year is to, I know my reading goal for every year is 50 books and I always go past 50 books, but since next year I have a wane coming up, so the first half of the year my goal is to read 25 books that's my goal just because I don't want to put a lot of pressure on myself on reading with all the wine stuff going on so that's my goal I know I could do a separate video but I don't think I'm gonna release a separate video for that I thought I'd explain on my reading vlog and there are, and also I'm trying not to buy as many books as usual just only buying books when I'm pre-ordering books just be like the releases I'm excited about just because I'm not only running a shelf room but also I need to put some money towards my wedding so so I'm gonna try it if I want to read a new release book that has come out I'm gonna try to read it from my library that's easier for me and and if I like it that's great I'll buy my own copy later and if I don't then I don't have to buy my own copy. So that's my plan for 2022. And yeah, and also I am going to try to pre film as much as possible to get used to it so I can pre film videos for the week of my wedding and the weeks during while I'm away for my honeymoon. So yeah, and that's pretty much it. And yeah, this. Next year, it is going to be a little better for our me just because I'm getting married to Kevin, my fiance, and yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> Kevin's trying to be funny for a moment there, and I just heard him. I'm not sure you guys heard him. He said, we're getting married. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, yeah, so... I just thought I would let you guys know what's going on for next year. I'm still going to release videos as kind of normal. I'm not going to be releasing too much videos. I'll just, like, one week I release one video and and then another week I release two videos. That does not include rain vlogs. I will release rain vlogs when I feel like it and I don't want to push myself to vlog if I don't feel like vlogging and I'm just want to try to take care of myself next year. That's my goal. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I feel like I've talked way too much, but I just want to let you guys know out there for my goal for next year. And yeah, I'm going to go and my ticket to read video and read some more of Nevermore. Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. I only read a chapter of Nevermore last night, so I'm on page 65, so I'm still not liking it. So, if, wait, I I only read one chapter and I already gave that update, so I didn't do much more rain on this. Like I said yesterday, my plan for today is to film a few videos, do some Wayne stuff just so I would and then yeah I'm doing some filming and doing some Wayne stuff so I'm gonna try to get those out of the way and surprisingly yesterday it snowed I'll show you guys so yeah it snowed all day yesterday so finally we got snow but I wish we had a white Christmas I know many people are not a fan of Snow, I felt this year, like, with um, no snow on the ground, it didn't feel like Christmas. 
this for some reason. So yeah. Yeah, we finally got snow on the ground, but yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get some breakfast because I'm hungry and I'm gonna read some more of Nevermore. Hey everybody, it's much later. I've only read a chapter of Nevermore this morning. I did some filming and now I'm just trying to clean up some of the Christmas presents I thought I got. Sorry, uh, my closet's up. Let's just ignore that. And yeah, I thought I'd show you some new shirts that I got. Some of them are bookish and some are Disney related. But of course, yeah, I'm wearing my One Division shirt that Kevin got me for Valentine's Day last year. This is my first time wearing it. Sorry, took, uh, sorry to Kevin that it took me so long to wear this. And of course, I love it and I'm hoping to wear it when Kevin and I go to Disneyland for Avengers Campus because I love Wanda and I love Vision. That's one of my favorite Disney Plus shows and I know it only gets one season but I'm okay with that so yeah. Uh, the first shirt that I got is this Tinkerbell shirt that says I don't spook I sparkle which is a Halloween themed Tinkerbell shirt. I hope you know wear this next Halloween season even though Kevin and I are going to Disney for our honeymoon, Disney World, to be specific, and they're going to have Halloween decorations up. I'm not sure if I'm going to wear this during the trip. I might wait until October to actually wear this, like with my jack o' lantern shirts. So, yeah, I just I. So yeah, I I love this one. The next one I got is a bookish T-shirt that I got that's just said just one more chapter. It's so cute. I just Love and I already wanted to wear it, but usually, but yeah, I I really like it. I can't wait to wear this in my future videos because I've been wearing more bookish t-shirts lately. But I'm gonna buy some more just because I want to get some more. And the next one, sorry, my all my <laughs> shirts, new shirts are on the floor. That's why I keep um, going off camera. But the next one that I got here is says Crazy Bookly, which I love like Crazy Cat. Lady, I have Crazy Book Lady. I love it, and people know that I'm a crazy book nerd, so yeah, I'm just happy to get this shirt. And the next one, I honestly know that everybody likes the song or um, the phrase, but it's, but it's with books, so I'm gonna say the phrase that that's from a song, and then I'm gonna say it because it has the similar saying, except they replace it with. Book instead of big book. I like big books, and I or I love big butts, and I cannot lie. I got a shirt that says I like big books, and I cannot lie. I I was hoping not to get this shirt because it's too in, like I do like big books, but it just sounds like I like you know what I mean. It's that it sounds story when you when you place book with the actual original thing, but I still like the shirts. So I can't wait to wear that one, even though I would feel embarrassed to wear this, even though it's supposed to be funny, but yeah. And then I got two new Disney shirts. The first one I got is this Tinkerbell shirt. It's just her, like, drawing with, like, this is like a turquoise shirt. So yeah, I like it. So I can't wait to wear this one. As well, and the last one that I got is this. Disney villain, villain shirts does just has all the female Disney villains on it. I don't know which one out of these are my actual favorite, but my favorite Disney villains are tend to be male, not female for some reason. But I do like these characters, so yeah, I'm happy to get another Disney villain themed shirt so I would wear because I have the one that has a lot. I think I have two of them now, but I don't remember so yeah that's all the other Christmas presents that I got I do have a bag that I want to show you guys later in this vlog I don't know when maybe in my next rain vlog I don't know yet but yeah I should get back to well I'm gonna be doing some wine stuff first and then get back into rain so yeah I'll catch you guys later hey everybody happy Thursday I've read a lot of nevermore history I got to page 101, so I'm a quarter way through it. I'm still liking it. So far, I do hope to read a little bit of, 
a little bit more of this before going to bed tonight because I want to know what happens next. I'm really liking the book and yeah, that's pretty much it for my reading update. I know I got a lot of stuff to do before I go to sleep. Most likely just read more of Nevermore and yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, also, um, not today, but I'll probably unbox this tomorrow. I got this game for Christmas, which is called Agatha Christie's Death in the Cards. I thought I would... Kevin suggested that I do an unboxing of this on my rain vlog because it's just a card game that's about Agatha Christie and I thought I'd show you guys before I boxed it. So yeah, because he doesn't do unboxing videos on card games. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it and I'll catch you guys later. Hey everybody, happy Friday. I did not do any rain yesterday. I just had a really bad day and I just didn't feel like rain. But I got a package. So I pre-ordered a book and I thought I would order another book along with it just because I'm not really good at pre-ordering more than one book. So let me open this up and see what I got. I know I got, oh, I hate when this happens. Let's try this again with the other side. Okay, there we go. So the book that I got is The Library of the Unwritten by a A.J. Hackwith. And this is a fantasy that is like a... I don't know a lot about this other than like it takes place in a library but in hell. I'm not sure but I've heard good things about it. I know um, Cody from Cody's Book Corner really enjoyed this and I thought I would pick this up because I'm really curious about it. I haven't heard many people talk about this book yesterday. Actually, <laughs> not yesterday, actually. So, yeah, I want to try this out. And that was on my Christmas list. I thought I would get it anyway. And, yeah, I'm really excited to um, pick this up when I can. <laughs> so, for the rest of my night, for... I know I have a day off tomorrow, New Year's Day, but Kevin has to work tomorrow. So, we're planning on watching and playing, watching stuff and playing some board games and yeah I'm pro I'm gonna do some reading before going to sleep and yeah I'll catch you guys later good morning everybody happy new year yeah today is new year's day and it's Saturday I did not read nevermore last night I just I was just too tired to read anything so I'm gonna be reading more of nevermore today but I am going to be doing some Wayne stuff first before I do some filming. And that's pretty much it. We were, my, Kevin and I, we were going to spend some time with my family. But plans changed so we're going to reschedule that with them. And yeah, that's basically it. And I'll catch you guys later. Everybody, it's much later. I did read a little bit of Nevermore this morning, and I got to 
page 148 so I'm almost halfway I might read a little more of this um, today but today it there's another snowstorm yeah there you go so yeah there's another snowstorm and it's apparently supposed to be bad so yeah Kevin's out work right now I hope he drives safely uh, to drive home safely so yeah and I almost forgot that I was gonna unbox this game that I got for Christmas which is Agatha Christie's Death on the Cards so I should probably do that uh, right now so so I could guys so I could show you guys this game so I'm just gonna be unboxing kind of a similar style that Kevin does on his channel yes I'm filming this in his studio I thought it would be easier so yeah I can't wait to see the cards I have my Zacto knife hopefully I don't damage the box because I hate when that happens okay Now at least I got most of the plastic off. There we go. So yeah, it's at the sleep or does it open it in a different way? I don't know. <laughs> Dang, how do you even open this thing? Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's no other way to open this, so I might have to trying to get this out oh my gosh and I just give me one second I just figure out there's a magnetic flap here which I didn't even realize that's why it wouldn't open okay so here's the rules there's the cards I don't know which one to start off with I'm gonna okay these are character cards so I'll start off with those boy I had like a dumb moment there <laughs> yeah I'm, I know I'm not stupid but I felt like a stupid person didn't know how to open a box when it's magnetic <laughs> hopefully I can open these cards oh there we go there we go get taking these off Oh, these are really cool. Oh, there's multiple character cards. You have Hercule Poirot, Miss Marple. Um, oh, get, gosh, I don't know how to pronounce her name. Let me know in the comments down below because I know there's a book that has her name on it, but I don't know her name. I'm just going to call her Mrs. Oliver. Another one of hers. Harley Quinn Wildcard. Oh, gosh. I did not know there was a um, a, like the Christie character named Harley Quinn. <laughs> so, I'm thinking of Batman. Sorry about that. And then Mr. Satterwhite. I can't pronounce some of these characters' names, and I apologize <laughs> for not able to pronounce them. Okay. Tommy Beresford, I think that's how his name is pronounced. Uh, um, two pence. Okay, that looks like his. I'm guessing that's his wife. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm uh, just give me one second again because I don't. I need to sit down because my my back is starting to kill me. Okay, much better. So yeah, these are really cool looking cards. I like the artwork. Parker Pine looks like that's how his name is pronounced. I mean, Parker is an easy name to pronounce, but Pine it does look like that. Um, and there's three of them of him. That seems weird, but I'm pretty sure I'll know when I... Lady Elaine Bundle Brandt. I'm guessing that's how her name is pronounced. And they're all detectives, which is kind of nice. I'm guessing they're all detectives from different Agatha Christie novels. So. Oh, and I'm guessing these cards represent different um, scenarios of the murder. Because this is a, a murder mystery card game obviously okay there's blackmail is to our social fox has i think that's how it was pronounced it looks french so and then there was one more i'm guessing that's kind of, that's 
their event cards. Okay, so card trade. I'm guessing you had to trade a card with another player. Yeah, card trade again. Point your suspicions. And then another one of those cards. And then early train to Pennington. And then delay the Murr's escape. And then look into the ashes. Hmm. These are really interesting cards. So that's the first set of cards. And these, I'm guessing it's... Oh, there's more cards to that. Okay. Okay, I want to show you this. I just, uh, it looks cool and mysterious. And there's more event cards. Dead card folly. There's another one. I really like these cards. Another victim. Oh, sorry, the camera was falling. Okay, let me fix the angle. Oh boy. Oh, but yeah, yeah, this little tripod that I'm using is being a big pain in the butt right now. Maybe if I turn my... Yeah, sorry about that. Is this gonna fall? I'm a... Yep, it's gonna fall. Okay, hold on. Alright, so... Yeah, the one facing the camera facing the table was not a good idea. So I'm just going to show you guys with facing camera facing me. Because the this tripod that I was trying to use was a big pain in the butt. So I'm just giving up on that. So the next um, card is what, probably one of the event cards. It's cards off the table. Yeah, I, re I still really like the artwork. Hopefully it's... it's not focusing for some reason. Not, yeah, my camera's been been a big pain of the butt too, which you guys probably didn't notice because every time I make thumbnails, they always make my photos blurry, especially when I'm trying to make a thumbnail for my rain vlogs. So yeah, hopefully I don't need a new vlogging camera because that, that's a big pain in the butt. And then these are reference cards on how to play the game, which is always nice because I love playing games that has reference cards just so it'll help players uh, play the game more. And then these are in instant cards. This one says, not so fast you fiend. Yeah, I, I still really like the artwork. Even though it's, they're cartoony, but I still like it. I can't wait to play this game. Because um, I do, I should, and Kevin's channel, we usually do a top 10s um, list. And I will be talking about games that are based on literature in general. Like, whether it's um, like a library or like based on a specific um, um, book. So, I'm going to be doing a video on that on his channel. Like, when it comes to my birthday month, because we decided to do like lists on whatever we want on his channel for his top list. And then this card says murder escapes. Which probably would mean that we lose the game. Yeah, that's what it basically says. It just said the murder wins the game. So yeah, you're basically solving a murder in this game, which I'm really excited about. And and these are all the secret cards. One of them, this card says bad medicine. Oh, they, they say different ones even though they have different pictures. That I'm not going to show you all of them because they have the same picture. The other one says um, Perfect Brew, Prankster, Road Rage, Romance Duffel. Oh gosh. Um, Chess of Fantasy, Untouched, Secret Hate, The 
the Fit Courage. And so I, there's some words that I can't pronounce and I graduated with an English degree. I still feel bad, but what could I do? Um, fake death, drinking problem, imposter, gambling problem, fake royalty, petty theft, Jiskews, I think that's what it's called. I don't, I don't know even know how to pronounce it. Oh, this one, uh, there's a card that doesn't have the same pictures as these secret cards. You're the murderer. I like how this picture looks. That guy lo reminds me of the Ghost of Christmas Future from A Christmas Carol. That's, I would picture the Ghost of Christmas Future doing that to Scrooge. <laughs> just to scare him. I don't know why, I'm just... And then this card says, with a different picture as one of the secret cards, you're the occupant palace. Mm, okay. So these are all the cards for this game. This is basically a card game. That's why Kevin suggests I do unboxing of this game in my reading vlog. And I thank him for that idea because I, I do hope to vlog more about playing some board games because I haven't done that in a while on my channel so yeah this game looks a lot seems like it's gonna be a lot of fun I'm just I'm really excited to try this out maybe Kevin and I will test this out yeah and we'll learn how to play it so there we go that's Agatha Christie's death on the cards game so yeah, I'm excited to try this out because I got this as a Christmas present and yeah. I'm gonna go... Um... I'm gonna go, I'm tr probably gonna do some reading on Nevermore, I'm not sure yet. And yeah, that's basically it on this update, so I'll catch you guys later. Hey everybody, um, happy Sunday, yeah. It's Sunday, I'm gonna end this vlog here so I can edit uh, this vlog and upload it. I didn't finish a book this week just because like this week I don't know why it's just been a lot of stress and and of course with the new year I I have a page goal in mind so I'm gonna be doing it doing that just by average of how many books I have on my TBR and divide by how many days there in a month but well I add all up the on uh, the page numbers for each book and then divide it by the name or the number of days so I thought it'd be easier for me but I am still reading Nevermore by Morgan Crow. I got to page 175 so I'm almost halfway through it and also I did start my audiobook for City. I'm only an hour into the audiobook but I'm on page 23 so yeah I'm not that far into it but I'm really liking it so far so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Reading vlog if you did give me a thumbs up and comment down below what you're currently reading at the moment and if you haven't already click the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you be notified whenever I post new videos. Also you can follow me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreach which all links will be down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!